Welcome all. Welcome to this new section where we are going to discuss few of the basics related to API 598. This is while inspection and testing standard. We are going to discuss what are the various pressure tests which are mentioned in this API standard for valves. So this is the agenda. What are various pressure tests we are going to discuss? Then what are the various conditions based on API 598 standard? And what are the mandatory and optional tests? This will be also discussed. Then how to refer 598 clauses just to get the pressure values for different pressure tests and what are the pressure durations we have to follow. So these are the few basics which we are going to discuss in this video. So let us start with the agenda. Now let us look at a few more pressure test conditions which are uh, need to, which need to be taken care while performing the test. These conditions we have already discussed. Now few more conditions let us see let us look into the details these are the clauses which are given in the 598 which we need to follow once it is mentioned that 598 clauses have to be followed for shell pressure test uh, for shell high pressure backseat and pressure uh, closer test the test fluid shall be air inert gas kerosene water non corrosive liquid which with the viscosity not higher than the water so this is how this standard talk about the fluid requirement while performing the test unless otherwise specified in the purchase order the test fluid temperature shall be within this range so which fluid and what is the temperature range to perform the test this is specified here if it is not mentioned in the purchase order for low pressure closer and low pressure backseat test the test pressure shall be air or inert gas so this is the difference here we are using air and in this case high pressure we are using liquid or air based on the recommendation in the purchase order when air or gas is used for closer shell or backseat tests the valve manufacturer shall be capable of demonstrating the adequacy of the method of leakage detection so this is manufacturer's responsibility to demonstrate that this leakage test is performed and this is uh, capable and the valve is capable of taking the pressure water used for any test can contain water soluble oil or corrosive inhibitors when specified by the purchaser a wetting agent shall be included in the water if it is specified in the purchase order by the purchaser then only it has to be added for testing of austenitic stainless steel water with chloride content not exceeding 50 ppm shall be used this is specifically mentioned for stainless steel and it is already there in this standard <coughs> the valve manufacturer shall be able to document the chlorine content this has to be documented and has to be provided by the manufacturer if it is asked by the purchaser okay now we have talked, talked about the pressure tests but the what pressure test what is the pressure which we need to maintain while performing these tests these are clearly mentioned in table number two and table number three table number two talks about shell test procedure uh, sorry the shell test pressure shall be listed in table number two all the different categories for all these pressures all these uh, tests and classification of valves this table gives us the clear indication which pressure we need to use while performing the pressure test similarly backseat and closer test uh, pressures are mentioned in table number three so this is how these three table number one two and three they can be used to get the details which valve which test and what is the pressure now and there is another table number four which talks about the duration of the test for particular valve. so this is these are the minimum requirements which need to be followed so thank you for watching see you in the next part